hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b plus 8 is equals to b and we solve this problem for all the values of a so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, the reason of method number one is that uh, if in your exam the question statement is that you just find uh, the values or of b or in other words you find the roots of this equation or uh, if in your question statement is that find the extraneous root of this question uh, this equation uh, so uh, the answer of this type of question is of a method number one but if your question is that uh, you just check that is this equation has solution or not then you can just move uh, directly towards method number two and you directly apply the second method but if you need to find the extraneous root or the uh, roots or, or value of b then you uh, you need to do our first method so this is the reason i can explain this problem on these two methods uh, so here in the first method in order to find the values of b we need uh, to uh, uh, applying scaling on both of the sides so when you take scaling on both of the sides it will be written as b plus 8 whole square is equals to b square and uh, here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so in the left hand side we use this nice algebraic formula so according to this formula we write here our left hand side as b square plus 2 times of b into 8 plus b square uh, so b is 8 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and in the next step we have this is b square plus here we have 2 times of 8 becomes 16 b plus this 8 square is equals to 64 and uh, in the next step we move this b square into the left hand side and it will becomes minus b square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so further in the next step you see here this is the positive b square this is the negative b square are cancelled out by each other and uh, we will get here uh, 16 times of b plus 64 is equals to 0. so you see here uh, this is the uh, 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 our uh, simplified form but now here our target is to find the values of p so for the values of b we need to divide both of the sides by 16. So when you divide both of the sides by 16 it will be written as 16 b divided by 16 plus 64 divided by 16 is equals to 0 divided by 16. so here we divide both of the sides by 16 and it will become there in this form and uh, now you see here this 16 is cancelled out by this 16 and uh, here we will get b plus so here we have this is 16 times of 4 becomes 64 and we get here plus 4 and 0 divided by 16 is equals to 0 because we know that when we divide 0 with any other number it is always get here the 0 answer okay so this will becomes 0 and further in the next step we need to move this plus 4 to the right hand side and it will becomes b is equals to minus 4 because this is positive into the left hand side and when we move into the right hand side it will becomes negative so you see here the value of b is equals to minus 4 uh, now here you see that in the first method we will get here this is the first root of the given equation and now we check that is this root be the solution of given equation or extraneous root so for this we need to verify this value of b so for verification of this value we will get here b plus 8 is equals to b this is the our given question statement and here we substitute this value of b and we check its behavior so when you put b is equals to minus 4 here it will becomes minus 4 plus 8 is equals to minus 4 and we get minus 4 plus 8 becomes plus 4 is equals to minus 4 so you see here this is positive 4 equals to negative 4 
um, this is not possible that uh, plus 4 is equals to minus 4 so if this is not possible in other words we say that these are not equal so if these two values are not equal it means that the value of b is equal to minus 4 is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so we conclude about b is equals to minus 4 is that b is equals to minus 4 be the extraneous root of the given equation so uh, here uh, we conclude about the solution set of this question is that the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so i hear unfortunately b is equals to minus 4 be the extraneous root of the given equation now, so we cannot get any other uh, root of the given equation which is satisfied over a uh, given equation so it means that uh, this question has no solution okay because we cannot get any value of b which is satisfied the given question statement so this question in the first method we will get here our question has no solution and now we move towards our second method and our uh, our second method be the uh, straightforward method and here we directly say about that our given question has solution or not so first we copy down given question statement here it is b plus 8 is equals to a b and here in this method uh, you just see that we, we need to move this b to the right hand side and it will becomes 8 is equals to b minus b and we get here 8 is equals to 0 because these two are cancelled out by each other so 8 is equals to 0 it is not possible that 8 is equals to 0 so if uh, uh, it means that 8 is not equals to 0 in general so if 8 is not equal to 0 this means that we cannot get any other value of b in the second method so we conclude about the solution set of second method is that uh, this question has not solution or no solution okay it cannot have solution set so this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos